Hey guys, it's Mahalia. I'm here right now with Mary Young at the head office in Toronto. We are about to learn more about the brand and talk about the album and tour and everything. So stay with me. I know what you did. Yeah, I know, I know. And I want to talk about it. And I know you don't. So just to tell you a little bit about Mary Young, yeah. she's a Toronto-based lingerie and loungewear brand okay. and she really focuses on body positivity mm -hmm. and natural beauty and promotes that through her garments. Nice. She found that a lot of the lingerie brands that were currently existing were constricting and conforming the natural beauty of okay. women yeah. and she wanted to focus on something that instead of constricting it, yeah. she wanted to really focus on elevating the natural beauty and, and showcasing it. I mean, I've been having this conversation so much recently because I've, I've got an abnormally large chest for my size. And so I'm always having this conversation. Oh, for sure. It's, but it's so like, challenging to yeah. find things that fit you exactly. right and that you feel comfortable in. Exactly. So we're doing the Love and Compromise tour. And I made a point to myself that I wasn't going to wear a bra at all. And I've done it. And it's been How nice. do you feel? Amazing. Because for me, it's like, it's just like, I don't know what I'm hiding. It's taken me so long to get to a point where I'm like, finally super confident in the way that I am. Because I have this moment in my show where, where I kind of talk about it, but I just really touch on it. And like, for me, it's just like, don't let anybody tell you that you have to wear a bra. Yeah. There was a moment, particularly in the fashion industry, where I guess smaller boobs with no bra were kind of championed. And I always felt like smaller breasts kind of seemed fashionable and larger breasts were always sexualized. For you, probably love comes in the form of writing and singing and in different ways of life. Yeah. So do you see that there's like an element there where you ever have to compromise on? The whole world of an artist is compromising, but it's not always negative. I think that's the, that's the thing that I'm trying to get rid of is that negative connotation around the word compromise. Yeah. Compromise doesn't scare me. I understand how it can scare artists, you know? I grew up with a mum who was like, I'd be on stage singing, I'd have my eyes closed and she'd go, open your eyes. And I'd always be like, why? And like her whole thing was like, if you can't listen to what people are saying to you, you're never going to be able to move forward. Hello, hey, how, how are you? Nice to meet you. Jess is our design assistant at Mary Young. Yes. Our main inspiration is really customers and females and what they wear and the trends Amazing. so we can facilitate that in our designs to make it the most comfortable for them to wear every day. Yeah. Bodies are so beautiful. And you know, I used to, like if this was last year, I'd be going on stage and like trousers in the top thinking, everyone's gonna be looking at my belly, everyone's gonna be looking at my boobs, what am I gonna do? And now I'm just like, they are gonna be looking, but they look in a way that's like, I wanna do that too. It's really important for women and for young girls to see it. If you don't see it, you're never going to want to do it, you know? And I just, I'm really trying to normalize that thing, particularly on stage. Something that we really focus on is, you know, comfort and not just comfort, say, in lingerie, but for you to be comfortable and confident in your own body. And that's kind of what we want to emulate, you know? You go onto any fashion website and you see the kind of normal range mm -hmm. and then you see a plus size range or you see a curvy range. And I'm just like, what about all of those girls in between who maybe are smaller sizes but have bigger features so mm -hmm. maybe she's got bigger boobs or maybe a bigger bum and the fact that it's adjustable I, th I think it's really important. I'm so excited to share with you our self-love club. Me too. So Mary started this movement where people could have an open conversation and start to talk about body positivity as well as mental health yeah. and everything that comes along with self-love. Yeah, that's really cool. I love, yeah, those kind of open conversations are so important. Sure. But I think that's like a human, that's in our nature. We want to connect, we want to communicate yeah. and we want to be able to relate in some way, you know, which is why like, you meet girls in the bathroom in clubs and you'll start talking about a breakup that you went through a year ago. It's like 100%. everybody's trying. So I love that, that's yeah. amazing. It's like, I don't even really, it's like actually <laughs> hard to say anything because I've never seen anything like it. So it's well, gorgeous. Well, thank you so much. That means a lot. Yeah. And I'm so glad that our values just, you know, mesh Matt. so well together. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So reflective of one another. It's so yeah. nice. Relatable. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs>
but you don't wanna fall too hard. You're falling, but you don't wanna fall.